I have water in the bottom here, Billy. What's happening to it? It's evaporating. Well, it's actually, evaporating is sort of correct. Actually, you should say boiling. Boiling and evaporation are pretty much the same, except boiling <coughs> takes place faster. We have heat down below. How okay. do you know it's boiling? Because you got the stove on. I see. I thought maybe you were going to look at the little spout there. Well, there's steam coming out. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? There's steam coming out. How do you know? Because I can see it. No, what you're looking at is not steam. This is a mistake a lot of people make, and if you're going to be scientifically correct, we should use the correct term. Those are little tiny droplets of water, and you should say water vapor. Steam is right here, right at the end of the spout. Can you see it? No. no steam is invisible. See, when you change water to steam, it's actually in the gas form. The molecules are dashing all around, they're not together. When you put them together, you get this stuff, which is water vapor. Let's change the water vapor back to steam, and I think you'll see. How do you do that? Well, all you have to do is take the stove and hold it under the water vapor and heat it up again. Here you go. If you hold the heat right under the... See, it's gone, right? Where'd it go? Yeah, because you're heating it up and changing it back to steam. Now take it out of the way. There it is. Showing that we're heating those little uh, droplets and changing them back to steam again. So the next time you see that white stuff coming out of a tea kettle, what are you going to say it's called? It's water vapor. Right. 